In the world of modern artillery, firepower and mobility are everything. Imagine a battlefield where speed meets precision and one devastating barrage can turn the tide of war. In this video, we're pitting two of the most advanced self-propelled howitzers head-to-head, -head, Sweden's Archer and Germany's PZH 2000s. Both are powerful, both are deadly, but which one truly dominates the battlefield? Let's dive into the details and see which artillery system stands at the top of the artillery food chain. The Archer Artillery System, developed by Sweden's Bofors, or now BAE Systems, was designed for fast deployment and mobility, making it perfect for tough Scandinavian terrain. Entering service in 2013, Archer's wheeled chassis, based on a Volvo 6x6 truck, lets it move quickly over snow, mud, and rough terrain. Its fully automated loading system and rapid-fire capability allow it to fire and relocate within minutes, reducing the risk of enemy retaliation. Recently, it gained attention with the British Army receiving 14 units in 2024, proving its reliability and adaptability in NATO operations. The other candidate, Germany's PZH 2000s, developed by Krauss Maffei Wegmann and Rheinmetall, has been a powerhouse since it entered service in the late 1990s. Built to replace older artillery systems, the PZH 2000s is known for its heavy firepower, long range, and rugged durability. Unlike the wheeled Archer, this howitzer rides on a track chassis, giving it top-tier off-road performance. Used by several NATO countries, including Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands, the PZH 2000s has seen action in combat zones like Afghanistan and Ukraine. Its high rate of fire and long-range capability have made it a favorite, and continuous upgrades keep it at the cutting edge. The Archer is a sleek artillery piece featuring a 155mm L52 howitzer. Its cool automation lets a small crew of just three to four operators deploy it. Thanks to its autoloader, it can shoot all its rounds in under three minutes and then quickly move to dodge counter battery fire. With Excalibur precision guided munitions, the Archer can hit targets over 50 kilometers away, making it perfect for long range strikes. Its wheeled design makes it super mobile, allowing for rapid deployment in both urban and rural areas, while the automation keeps the crew size down and boosts safety. On the other hand, the PZH 2000s also sports a 155mm L52 howitzer. It needs a crew of five, but while it's less automated, it packs a punch with more firepower and range. The PZH 2000s can engage targets up to 67 kilometers away using smart munitions, outdistancing the Archer. In terms of battlefield performance, the Archer's mobility really stands out, especially on paved roads and in urban settings. The shoot and scoot capability lets it fire a barrage and quickly relocate, helping it dodge enemy fire. On the other hand, the PZH 2000s may not be as fast on the road, but it shines off-road. Its tracked chassis handles tough terrain like forests, mountains, and muddy fields with ease. However, its slower speed and bigger logistical needs can be a drawback in fast-paced situations. When it comes to firepower, the PZH 2000s takes the lead. With a firing rate of up to 10 rounds per minute and the ability to launch three rounds in quick succession, it definitely outguns the Archer. Plus, it can hit targets up to 60 kilometers away with guided munitions, giving it the upper hand in long-range artillery battles. But don't count the Archer out. 
with an impressive rate of eight rounds per minute and Excalibur rounds for pinpoint accuracy, it excels in situations where precision is key, especially in complex multi-target scenarios. The Archer's quick mobility and wheeled design offer great survivability. After firing, it can swiftly move to a new position, reducing its exposure to enemy fire. Its smaller crew size also makes it less vulnerable in high-risk situations. However, it can struggle in rough terrain compared to tracked vehicles. On the other hand, the PZH 2000s, built like a tank, is more robust. While it may not relocate as quickly as the Archer, it can take a beating and keep going. In intense combat zones like Ukraine, it has shown it can withstand damage while consistently providing fire support. Feedback from Swedish and British forces using the Archer has been fantastic. Crews love the automation. It really smooths out operations and enhances safety. The PZH 2000s has also made its mark in various conflicts, like those in Afghanistan and Ukraine. Users consistently rave about its range, firepower, and reliability. The Archer's wheeled design makes it more cost-effective and easier to maintain compared to the PZH 2000s. Its smaller crew and quick deployment capabilities cut down on logistical challenges, making it a great choice for countries looking for a flexible, high-tech solution. On the flip side, while the PZH 2000s is pricier, it delivers unmatched firepower and range. However, its tracked design requires more maintenance and logistical support, especially in tough environments. For nations that prioritize raw firepower and durability over cost, the PZH 2000s is still an excellent option. When comparing the Archer and PZH 2000s, each artillery system has its unique strengths on the battlefield. Choosing between them really comes down to operational needs. Go for the Archer if you want speed and precision, or the PZH 2000s for sheer firepower and range. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Which system do you believe reigns supreme on the modern battlefield? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.